Old Uncle Donkey. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to youtube.com slash geekloud. It's Friday morning, it's uh what is it, 10 a.m. ish, so it's a live stream, and I'm here with Aaron on Discord. Aaron, how you doing, mate? I'm good, you? I'm very well, thank you. My apologies to all the viewers. The camera is not working today. Try as I might, I cannot get the technology to line up today. So we are going without the camera. But Aaron, let's kick it off, man. Let's. Uh, are you going with Raphael? Is that your main dude at the minute? That is exactly who I'm going with, yes. And what's your highest level guy? Who have you ground up the highest? Um, I've, I've, I've really not been playing the game that much after all the PlayStation stuff came out, so I decided to get oh, into that. Yes. Indeed, man. And how are you finding that? It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's fun, but like, I'm really noticing, like, I didn't think it was a big issue, the whole like power and NTSC stuff, but you can really feel it. Mm. Yeah, it's, um... like, it doesn't put, It doesn't put me off. Like, I still love, like, the fact that this is a thing. Like, yes. It, like, I'm loving it so far. Like, obviously, I want more games and stuff. Like, oh, and I heard um, this is a thing. Cause I was talking to some games, and it turns out, like, is it true that they don't have PS3 streaming in Australia? Uh, I, now, I assumed it was going to come, but now that you say that, no, I was looking around on it sort of yesterday and last night, and I haven't seen any PS3 streaming. You're right. I don't think it is here. Because you're obviously you've only got it be uh, PS Plus Extra and. Essential, sorry, and deluxe. I have, yes, I have. Like, there's, there's two tiers for you, isn't there? And there's oh, three no, there's tiers three. Us, uh, no, me. we've got three there's tiers. Three? Yeah, we must just be missing like a <laughs> line item from the top tier. How disappointing! Yeah, that, yeah. I mean, it probably is a little bit cheaper that, like, because you have less content. Like, that's still not a good thing. No, well, my bet, and I'm just making this up, but my bet would be they wouldn't want to launch it here if they didn't have servers here. Like, if we had to stream off US-based servers, the latency would be... It would make it unplayable. So it's probably a financial so constraint thing. They're probably going to wait six months, then deploy servers in Australia, and then it'll be available here. They probably just couldn't get yeah, all that, the coverage you, in time. But if they were going to do that, the thing is, before the whole thing come out, they announced that... I think it was 20 plus more countries got the streaming. So it's mm. when Australia wasn't included oh, because it's, they can't figure it it's, out. It's because we're on our own on the island. Like anytime you see like 20 countries added, it's somewhere in Europe or South America, you know, 20 countries all within one data center. So they only have to deploy, yeah, yeah. you know, one new service center and they can fit 20 countries. Or if you do it in Australia, you can still only fit Australia. Like it's doesn't make financial sense from that point of view. Because I don't know if it was me, but when I first tried PS Now, it was terrible. But like, I actually generally think Sony improved servers. I had no no latency with it. Like, I know that might just be me getting lucky, but I tried about 10, and 20 different games. So I think it really ain't me getting lucky. Is it Was it your first experience streaming them yesterday or had you sampled Now previously? So I'd sampled Now previously and it was oh, okay. so... So, so terrible. So it's Couldn't noticeably improved? Mm, it does feel like it. It does feel like Sony actually, you know, kind of, you know, decided to sort it out because they realized, I don't know, people can pay more, you know, we'll be having like a bigger cert, like, because that was the main thing holding that back. I mean, obviously the fact is streaming as well, but if they can get streaming like good, mm. like at least, you know, serviceable, then it's worth playing those PS3 games and, you know, yeah, definitely. Obviously, native always, always be better. Like if I can play, I don't know, my old childhood Disney games and stuff on there, like I'm not really bothered, you know. Yeah, yeah. What was the uh, when? How long ago? Sorry, did you try PS Now? Do you recall? Like, was it years ago oh, or? I would say 2018. So it's quite a while back. Yeah, right. I wonder then if the difference you've noticed is you remember back in 2018 at the end of November, I think it was, uh, Sony entered that agreement with Microsoft to use their cloud service, the Azure. Like, I wonder if yeah. in 2018 they moved their streaming tech over to the same stuff Microsoft uses for xCloud. Because xCloud works beautifully yeah. here. So that might be the improvement you notice, man. X, X Cloud works very good in the in uh, in Europe as well for me. So yeah, uh, not yeah. Europe. Well, I'm suggesting they're 
Yeah, I'm suggesting, yeah, uh, yeah the Xbox uh, streaming stuff is essentially the same service as the PlayStation one with different branding, like if they're the same Microsoft back end, you know? I think if there's one thing that Microsoft and Sony disagree on, yeah, they probably should just be like, oh yeah, we'll just use, um, yeah, they probably did enter an agreement with Microsoft, like, well, you have better servers than us, uh, we want to make money, so. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I reckon that's what it be, man, but that's cool. But that makes me wonder, we've got xCloud in Australia, and if they are using the same servers, why wouldn't they have launched here already? Hmm. I don't know, it's weird. That is weird. Hmm. What's this space? We'll definitely have to keep a close eye on it on GEA. But I mean, like, I've been wanting to play stuff like Crisis Remastered for like ages and stuff on the PS4 and stuff. I just never, I, I didn't have the money to buy it or I didn't, I did, I just, yeah. I've always missed out on those sales. So I'm glad I can, that, that's part of the collection, of, like the, uh, the, the native PS4 games. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll play that. I've never played it. So, it, so there's, such, there's, there's like tons of different games I've found on there that I haven't, because as I said, 2018, it would have been, God, it would have been when, Red Dead Redemption came out, which is yes, yeah, yeah. Like two November twenty eighteen. Yeah, that's when I got my PS4. So I'm a very late adopter to the PS4 generation. This, uh, so do you have the Pro then? PS4 Pro? I did have the Pro, yeah. Yeah, right. Nice. Oh, um, oh, my character just. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. He just like stood in place for no, and did not. Uh, oh, is that taunt button you mean, or he was like a glitch? No, no, no it was a glitch. Oh, okay, no, I didn't see it on this side. The, uh, the patch they did for this, though, seems to have fixed up the achievement popping latency issue. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Which is Because I was thing. noticing that was also definitely a single-player issue as well. When I was oh, in. okay. Because I did notice it about three or four times in single-player. I don't know how I popped three or four achievements. I wasn't trying, but... <laughs> Sign of a good achievement list, I think. The, uh, the funny Did you know thing... if you um, hold not the sort button, the other button, like, and you do the... So like, did you know you can power up the special meter? I would never knew that. But no, yeah, by holding button. which button? Yeah, that button there, yeah. It'd be that button, but because you haven't leveled up higher, like, same as me. Oh, If we I were see. higher level, then, yeah. No, nah, cool. Thanks for letting me know, man. Um, the funny thing that I noticed yesterday at the, the PlayStation game trials, I, um, I, in, I did the install for Horizon 2, like, earlier this year. And then, yeah, uh, new... give me two seconds. I need to put a plug a charger in two seconds. No worries, man. I'm so sorry. This might get no, it's all good, man. Take time, no worries at all. I mean, at least the controllers last longer than the series, uh, than the PS5. Yeah, <laughs> those controllers do not last long enough. Yeah, I'm hopeful there's, I don't know if you've seen the rumours last couple of weeks that PlayStation are apparently doing a Pro Controller. Oh yeah, the, the Pro Controller seems like really promising. I just, I'm not, I'm not too keen on like the whole back buttons and all that kind of stuff. Like, oh, I, have you used them oh. though? It was a game changer for me. I was so cynical until I actually used it and now I'm I just, can't I'm wait. Not, I, I just think it's kind of one of those, that, like, it, it's a feature, but it's not a needed feature. Like it, it, it's an extra like kind of thing, but yeah. Well, it might just be yeah. like my uh, dexterity doesn't always. I do think end as I would well love to see like. Xbox do the like the uh, adaptive triggers alternative, like their own version. That, of that would like, be fantastic. Like, really, yeah, um, I really and like have to feedback, all that kind of stuff. Just, just yeah. that's the main stuff that was competing with. And even like um, their own version of the trackpad would be nice as well, just like to do something with that because that trackpad is actually like used in a lot of PS4 games. And if you put the, 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 the only up. thing that is coming to mind is um, uh, a death. Uh, gosh, was to uh, Ghostwire Tokyo. They used it recently. You know, you could cast the spells while like drawing on the pad. That was oh, I haven't played it yet, but I just saw it went on sale, so I might have to pick that up. I was obviously a massive fan of it, man. Can you, is it in the game trials, or is it somehow included in the new No, teams? that's one of the ones I, I, I'm surprised they didn't put in the game trials. Yeah. Oh, I wonder, though, if it's a Microsoft game now, like owning Bethesda, whether Microsoft had a say on it. Oh, yeah, that would be it. Yeah, it's supposed to... That and Deathloop are both supposed to come onto Game Pass, I think. People are predicting September? like the end of this year, so that's September, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, man. What I was trying to say was with the uh, back, paddle, back paddles, the way I've got it permanently done is I've put uh, L1 and R1 
on the top paddle and L3 and R3 on the bottom paddle, and it means I never have to take my trigger so fingers off the, the um, triggers. Oh, yeah, you're using the... Uh, uh, what's it called? That, that, Elite Series that, 2. I've heard those are very um, fragile. Let's say that. Oh, no, I haven't experienced anything like that. Yeah, I heard that when they came out, I think that might have just been like an issue when they just came out, that they, that they were a bit broken, and then maybe they fixed them over time. I don't really know, but... Oh, okay, yeah, the well... First few, the first few models, yeah, they were really, really bad. Yeah, like well... Drift, like, in oh, that's or something right. You yeah, haven't said drift. Yeah, I do remember those stories. Yeah. That first Which batch. Is, it's not great when you're supposed to be... When the Elite Seat Series got the Series... Two controller is supposed to be better than the first one, so yeah, the first one was technically better when it came out. Uh, when the second one came out, because well, drift. Yeah, well, drift aside, I love the feeling of the Elite Series Two over the one. The only thing that was a downgrade in my mind was the paddles on the two are about half the size, and I love the massive paddles on the back. They're so easy to grab hold of. But the Elite Series 2 by yeah. default has like these tiny little paddles and they're just way too cumbersome for me. But fortunately, you can put the Elite Series 1 paddles on the Elite Series 2, so you get the best of both worlds. Actually, probably going to get like when I, when it, you know, when it comes down in price a little bit more, then I'm probably going to actually pick up, you know, give the, the Series 2, Elite Series 2 the benefit of that. I've always wanted to try it. I yeah, just, I don't know, the weird, um, weird D-pad doesn't really scream anything to me, and like, there's a few other things that just don't... The controller oh, so looks nice. That D-pad, man, yeah, it but, comes with that, It's what is it, a 16 by sort of face on it? But you can... But is it, it comes actually with, useful? Well, here's the thing, it comes with the ability, I just popped it straight off, and you can put like an old school just four-way D-pad on it. So my yeah, Elite yeah, Series D-pad, yeah, well, that's how I rock it, and it's way, way, way better than that 16x thing, I reckon. Like, for precision well, in platforming games, older games where you want precision, you can't beat yeah, the D-pad. Yeah, but when I was seeing, like, reviewers, people were just like, like, it's a nice feature, but, like, they haven't, like, a lot of people haven't found a use for that new D-pad, just, like... No, well, well I don't, use it. yeah, I never use it. I never use it, I just make it the default, and I love it. But just the fact that they give us the option is what's cool. Oh, and the uh, shorter cool. triggers, man, because you can pull, like, a mechanical lever on the back yeah, and then yeah. you've got a shorter throw. So for stuff like car racing games, when you, you know, pull the right trigger to accelerate, having to pull it a less yeah, distance yeah. is really cool. And I, you I said you've... Uh, yeah, gonna... oh, sorry, you said you finished this, man? You've unlocked Casey Jones? Yeah, I did unlock him, yeah. Can we see him? Can we, uh, on the next map change? I'd love to see his character model in action. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. Oh! I don't know if I broke have that played, open, or... I know, I know you played this game with Steve a little bit. Did you play as any, like, I didn't really watch the stream, but... No, all good, man. Yeah, I've just been playing as Donatello. Is that where you were headed? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Have you played as any other character yet? Or... No, just been... I was... My assumption or memory is that there was an achievement for. Um, oh, I think I missed you. Sorry, man. Can I bring you back somehow? Yeah, or is you, it a timer? Oh, yeah, no, there you, you are. Cool. Oh, oh, I'm back. I am back. Oh, there's so much going on the screen. Ah, it's so I mean, on. It is, but have you seen. Um, I, I was watching someone play like six player mod. Play. It, it, it's, it's mad. Oh, no. The most I've seen is the three we did last Friday, I think. No, yeah, six is, like, arguably probably too much. Like, it's cool that it's an option, but, like, I do Have think, like, I don't know if you've ever played, like, the old Mario game, like, the uh, old, like, uh, the Wii Mario or any of the, like, the 3D ones where you have, like, four people, five people, which is, yep. it's a bit hectic. Yes, it can be. How does, did it look, you said you only saw this, you didn't play it yourself in that many? No, I'm, I haven't. I don't have that many friends. <laughs> Did it appear as though the scaling of the enemies worked well, or were they just massively overpowered with that many attackers on screen? Oh no, no, definitely, definitely. I can for, for say that they've definitely put as much effort as they needed to into this game. I don't think there's any like they haven't done any shortcomings or anything. The game works how you would expect any other cooperative game to work. Yeah, cool. Be better than most of the newer cooperative games that have come out. So cool. 
Is this out on uh, Switch? Yes, it is. I might actually pick it up on Switch as well. I wonder how it runs on there. Have you seen anything uh, to that regards? Is it a... Uh, runs at... It runs at perfect 60, there's no issue. Wow, that's huge. That's so even surprising, on, I didn't uh, think the Switch had it in it. <laughs> even came onto uh, the Steam Deck, like support day one, which is quite nice of uh, the company as well. Oh my god, one day I would so love to have my hands on a Steam Deck, they look so cool. I've already, um, already put my uh, £4 pound deposit into, uh, oh, into when, account. So sh what's the ETA for it, for you? Uh, oh, uh, Q3... 2022 but it says october on steam so i assume that's like when it's going to start coming out for most people so yeah that's, that's when most so people cool. get their hands on it and how big's your steam library in anticipation <laughs> um i've probably got over like 200 and something games i haven't got like the most games in the world but like i've got a load yeah from all them steam spells well yeah and especially with the summer games fest and all that recently there are a bunch of discounts on there you could mm, really pat it out I'm looking forward to playing like the new Modern Warfare and stuff like that on the Steam Deck if it can get support day one and stuff. I just wanted to see how that would work. I've never, cause, not gonna lie, I've always wanted to see how Call of Duty on Switch would be or uh, on a handheld, but they've yeah. never done it. So, yep, that would be but, very cool. But definitely, I guarantee it's gonna get support day one for the Steam Deck. They might, they'll do as many games as they can, won't they, with Steam? So. Well, yeah, do you know if you can get, and I don't know if it's native or whether you'd need to hack it, but can you get uh, Game Pass, like Windows Game Pass games run on there? You just download, um, yeah, you just uh, download a win uh, uh, the Game Pass app, yeah, for like PC. That is the coolest thing ever. I absolutely love that. That it's, would be my number little, one use for it's it. It's not, it's not native, like, like, sorry, it's not, um, like, supported, like, officially, so there is a few. Oh, games just, I mean, it's. It, you can just access the library even if it's not, you know, official. That's so cool. Yeah, you can. That's the thing with the Steam Deck. Like, you can mod, like, the thing is, like, you can do everything you can do on a PC. Like, you can, obviously, you can download Windows, but a lot of people say it's not the best experience, but I'm still going to do it, obviously, because Windows oh, is like... Yeah. Even just to play with it, though, man, like, yeah, as soon as you got it, like, you totally install every operating system they let you just to play around and see what works. Yeah, look, Troy, try pressing that button when you've got a chance, and it'll, like, it'll power up, you'll see the bar go up. Which button, sorry? Oh, chance. the shoulder button? Yeah. <laughs> ah. If you, if you, probably not when you get attacked, so like, try when you're not <laughs> being attacked. But try now. Uh, here we go. Oh, yeah, there it is, man. Yeah, see, Great see, call. It feels, like, it feels like, like the meter. Yeah, I, yeah, I found awesome. out myself. I don't, the game doesn't even um, doesn't even tell you it. <laughs> I said I've that to Steve about uh, something, and then he reminds me that I always skip the opening 22 tutorial screens in this game. <laughs> uh, I don't think with these type of games, like, they're not complicated, so... I don't know, man. Oh, isn't, it, is it 21 or 22 tutorial screens in this game when you first started out? Yeah, yeah, but like three of them are just telling you how to do moves in certain different ways. Like the same super, but like, like say you jump, you do one, you do you, you do like a dash, and you do one. It's it's not really like the hardest thing in the world to learn. Like I, I, I did go through the tutorials. I skimmed them, let's say. I'd actually like to sit there and individually read everyone. I'd like it if they were voiced, but, you know. Yeah. It's a shame. I, then I might get involved a bit. I just, for me, I'd way prefer it when the game forces you to learn it just natively in gameplay. Like, don't write anything down. Put me up against an enemy that I cannot defeat until I master whatever technique you're trying to teach me. That's how the originals did it. I can understand because this is for a new audience. This is like a mixture between the newer people and the older people. Mm. So they have to do that. Like, I completely understand it with this game. But I think, yeah, the thing that was great about like any, like the old Mario Bros, anything. Is yeah. Just tell you, through you straight, no cutscene stuff. It's just you straight in the game. Learn what, learn how, how the game works. Yeah, exactly. That's my favorite. That's why Deathloop I find so frustrating. There's so much reading in that they just didn't bother even, putting even in the game. Even if they're going to do a tutorial, a tutorial like Elden Ring Dark Souls where it's just like, it, it, they, they put you with like, it, it's all gameplay based. It's you yeah. doing it rather than telling you. Like, I reckon the... You could just skip it Elden Ring. Yes. Which I reckon brilliant. the best... The best uh, tutorial recently was uh, Sifu. Have you played that one? Um, 
see, I might be when it's on a sale because I know yeah, my right. problem with C2. I know I probably won't finish it. Or like, I try, oh. I'm not very good with rogue with, type games. With the easy mode now, man, I was able to finish it. Like oh, they seriously, added one. they've added an easy mode, so that's. Uh, I like, yeah, hear what I you're heard, saying on the original release. I heard controversy with that. People aren't happy. Like it's like, oh. People don't like it when hard games get a easy mode. Oh, what, what is your opinion on that? I never actually asked, but we'll segue straight into that. Oh, yeah. What is your opinion on that type of... Do you agree with it, or do you think Dark Souls should be always, like, those type of games should always be, like... I don't think anybody should dictate terms to developers. I think if FromSoft never want to do an easy mode, FromSoft should never do an easy mode. But by the same token, the, the, reason the stiffer yeah. dudes want to go easy, by all means, add an easy mode. Like, whatever the developers want to do, I think is the right call. Exactly. It's their vision. Yeah, 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 exactly. This is how we want the game to play. If you don't like it, don't play it. Like, and this is... And when we heard um, when we heard interviews with FromSoft of why they weren't at easy mode, it's apparently because it would take away to the whole point of, like, how hard the games are, which... Yeah. How do you... How do, you, how do I... Uh, it's, up, uh, it's L1, I think, or oh, no. uh, LB. Oh, sorry. That's ah, all good. I'll come back in two seconds. It's no There's worries at all. definitely a glitch. I could not see. It did not tell me how to do that. Now, what's you the sprint freeze? in this again? No. What's the sprint? Is it double forward to sprint? I need to, like, uh, dash past this. I'm stuck. I'm froze log. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is uh, It's the same way that you would do it in... Ah. Actually, I can't remember a recent game. Actually, it does a... But yeah, I was saying, um, like, they've literally said that the whole reason they don't add an easy mode is it takes away to the whole point of you in this world struggling for your life, and I completely agree with that. Yeah, yep. There's so many FromSoft games I've never finished, and I would never ask them to do an easy mode. But that being said, I've really enjoyed Sifu. Originally, when, they, when I finished it on easy, it felt really cheap. But now that I've been able to go back and really grinding out some of those trophies, it's been really enjoyable, even though funny, it's on easy. So I agree with those guys for adding it in. Yeah, what's funny about it is e even um, sorry, uh, even the developers admitted that they probably like during an interview that they think the game was probably too hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hard but rewarding. That's what they said. Yeah, yeah definitely. Whoa! Now, we are near this pizza together. Do we both get the invincibility thing, or is it only one of us See, can I, have it? I don't know. We'll find out. No, one of us. Oh, there it is. It's a shame. <laughs> oh, it's got to be a double pizza box, doesn't it, for both players together? Yeah, I remember now. I don't even know if the invincibility have it, but the double yeah, health the ones. Yeah, the game doesn't do, and I've noticed this, and I think this is the only maybe like right, is it doesn't like account like they won't put like six pizza boxes there if you're. Ah, that's interesting. That's the one thing which I think that probably something like that. Like the thing is, no one's actually given feedback about that, so I guess it's not an issue for. Well, it might be the fact that, you know, less than 1% of the audience are playing with six players. So, you know, if no one's experiencing it, no one cares. Yeah, yeah. I've got no idea. I'm sure that has like the data on it. <laughs> if they add it, they add it. Like, but um, if they don't, they, you know, I'm not going to do sleep over it. It's, it's what it is. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's the double pizza box. Yeah, there's, as we spoke of it. Go for it, mate. So, it. Do you, need it, more than, oh, you no, need it more than me. Well, you can grab it. And because it's a double, we both get it. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, this is the guy I was on about last week. Good timing. I, I remember this something. guy. Do you remember him? Do you not remember this guy? I do, now that I've seen him. His name doesn't ring a bell, but his face certainly does. I definitely He's remember like seeing him. Yeah. yeah. He's a scientist. Oh, man. I have no aerial combat skills in this game. This is going to be a tough fight. Oh, the other thing I was going to say, man, the, um, I did the Let's Install originally of uh, Horizon 2 off the PS4 disc, so I did the PS5 upgrade, you know, yeah. where you have to have the 4 disc in, but you're playing the 5 digital version. I oh think... yeah, that's exactly what I did. I, I, I wasn't spending uh, 70 quid for the game. Yeah. Well then, but so I downloaded the free trial yesterday through the new PlayStation Plus, 
but because on my yeah. account I've got it that I have the PS4 disc to put in, I can't launch the trial version. I need to some like really? Sony. Sony needs to somehow enable me to deauthorize the free upgrade license in order to use the trial. So that's I'm sure it's such a minor use case. Kind of like the six players in this, but it's definitely no, it's an issue annoying. until they fix it. Until they fix it, that's going to be a real problem. Delete, like, why was if you delete your save? Like, is it just because you have data on the, like, No, so it's horizon? not. It's it's a back-end issue. It's like my account on their database says I need to put the disc in. Ah, okay. So, so until I can remove that license, if you like, from my PlayStation a account. Plane, like, I'd put in a, uh, like, join a, uh, like, send a message, like, uh, however you do it to them. Let them know, because that's a pretty big issue for you, if you really want to try out the trial that badly. <laughs> Yeah, well, I assume in one or two days, Kotaku will be all over it. I, I expect in no time it'll be a, quite the news story. I'm sure it'll bite a lot of people. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know what they're like? They just make stuff up and just go on about it. Yeah, yep. Oh, my God, we're being attacked in chat. Excuse me while I mute some bots. Some bots, yeah. Apparently, it's not just you. I just checked. It. Apparently, it's just YouTube security. It's really damn bad. Yeah, right. I uh, I haven't looked into it, but I've just noticed. Uh, I was looking. I was looking at the YouTube chat. I've just noticed that on this stream and the last stream, the bots come in exactly eight minutes in. Eight minutes into the stream, we get attacked by bots. <laughs> that thing right there. If you could see it when you go into that. Yes, that is, is that Technodrome. Thing? Yep, that's it. Which is Krang's like fortress. Yeah, yep, like his Death Star, if you will. Ah, cool. Hey, Sean, thanks for joining us, mate. Uh, my camera's dead today, so uh, I won't be putting that back on, but thanks for showing up, man, and good luck with those bots. Hey, Sean, have you noticed before that the bots only start eight minutes in? Is that a thing? It appears to be. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing for every stream I've ever watched, like, it's like it's almost like it's an automated system kind of thing they're doing. Yeah, that, that whoever definitely. Whoever the YouTube box, or whatever the, I, you know, I'm, I couldn't sit here and tell you how it works, but. Yeah, well, I can't imagine what the business angle is on it. Like, I don't understand how it makes them money by spamming our chat, but whatever. <laughs> well, I mean, usually it's a good idea to do it to popular YouTubers because it's about views and stuff and. Like the amount of times they put a bot on there, if it's a popular YouTuber who has money, I, I don't really know, some, something like that, if I had to guess. But, I mean, your, your channel is not the most popular in the world, without being rude. <laughs> no, there are certainly a lot bigger channels than that, that is for sure. But you don't do it for the sake of doing that, you just do it for the sake of showing, you know, just <laughs> like playing games and having a community, which is fine. Perfectly I'm obsessing over hard drive space. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Especially now I've noticed with the PS Plus games, with the new premium system, I'm like, which games do I want to delete to add? I mean, luckily, the PS1 games and PS2, like, all, all the classic games, thank God, Sony, are tiny. Like, yeah. They don't, wait, they don't, they don't come up in anything. But half of the PS4, PS5 games I'm trying to download, like, I'm what? trying to download like, a few of them just to try them all out. But yeah. It puts that firmware patch they released during E3 where they gave us that extra other space back. It gives that some context, I reckon. They knew everyone was going to start pounding the downloads. I, know, I reckon they deliberately went back and freed up that space just so people could download more games in the service. Like, the timing, I think, is very interesting. What do you mean, like, you could download more games at a time? No, no, like, they... For the, since launch, they've had over 200 gigs tied up with other space on everyone's or most people's PS5s. Like it was oh, just yeah. an engineering oversight, and they finally corrected it uh, just the other week. But I think it was finally corrected. It became a priority with everyone downloading games the way this new service has rolled out. If that makes sense. Uh, how do you do this again? Uh, is it awesome? oh, there, we go, there we go. It'd be the taunt yeah. button, I think, or the other button. Uh, yeah. No, yeah, the, yeah, exactly. Taunt's right button. Uh, oh, okay, Sean, thanks for that, man. Good to know. Oh, Sean, have you seen uh, Maverick yet of the cinemas, man? What'd you think? And how about you, Aaron? Are you going to see that one? 
Um, I've never been a Top Gun fan. Like, I, I mean, I never grew up with them. My mum loves them, but never. I bet the, all the trailers and all the hype around the new one doesn't do anything for you. It's not piquing your interest. Uh, it doesn't, like, look as interesting as, like, you, I don't know. It's just like a, no offense if you like it. It's a gen it just looks kind of like a generic movie about guys in planes. Yeah, fair enough, man. That's a totally legit view. All good, man. But that's not just me. I've heard those are people who have never watched the original who just said that the, the second one just doesn't do it for them. It's, fair, it's one of those movies that got released because of the first one. It's not one of those movies that they expect new people to jump in. Yeah, totally. I'm a big fan of the first one. I absolutely can't wait to see this new one at the cinemas. But I completely appreciate if you didn't grow up with it, it would be somewhat meaningless. I will probably still watch it, but that's what I mean. I won't spend my money to watch it in a cinema because I don't find I like it. I probably will just watch it somehow. When it starts streaming Some somewhere? Way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, when it starts. <laughs> don't we all use that? <laughs> oh, I don't want to sit here and promote it because YouTube don't seem to like when you talk about that. Well, that's a great especially... point. That is a great point, mate. Let's move along. <laughs> Especially in the comments. I remember I did it in oh, the comments, yeah. comments, yep. comments system. And YouTube, like, I thought it was like, just like it didn't register, but I think that YouTube instantly had like some sort of like anti software that deletes the comment. And I was like, oh, that's a shame. Yeah, right. So I had to reword what I said to someone <laughs> just in a way that was a bit less, you know. Start talking in code, yeah. <laughs> oh, did yeah. you, uh, have you, I don't think you've given us your thoughts on all the Starfield stuff, mate. What's your take on that one? All right, that was what I was going to talk about. Yeah, what's, uh, what, what's your opinion of all, like, Starfield and, like, what did you enjoy? What was really, what, some, like, what were your highlights? Give us the top five, let's say, because that's probably easier than top ten. Uh, well, I wasn't, uh, well, no, wait, Roller Drone was my absolute number one. I think that was the Summer Games Fest that, you know, that, um... Do you know what's great about that? It's coming to PlayStation Plus August, I think they said. Fantastic. That's awesome. So I can't wait to get my hands on that one. I'm most excited about that one. The, um, what is it, High on Life, the talking gun games by the Rick that and Morty dudes? Looks, uh, I love Rick and Morty, so, you know. Yeah, job. Keen for that like, one. You know, obviously, frame rate aside, like, I don't think it's going to ruin my, my experience. The game graphically looks really nice for the type of style it is, and it's cool because the last game that they released, the first game, sorry, they released was a VR experience, wasn't it? Oh, what was uh, it called? I don't know what it's called, but oh. <laughs> it, it's not, it's not, it's not going to yet. Yeah, it's one of those games that I looked at and I was like, it looks cool, but because I had no VR at the time. Yeah. Um, I will be buying the new PSVR too, though, because I've just shown oh, like, yeah. new games, like the PlayStation, like, you know, we're going to get, like, Resident Evil 4 in VR, and just like, oh, sounds great. I can't wait to play it. And, and, the, uh, VR, and, the, new, and the new Horizon looks really good, like, surprisingly, for a VR game. Like, I'm, one of the yeah. highlights now, I was like, that actually looks like a triple A VR game, which is, also, we're getting um, Half-Life Alex Day 1. Oh, is on that confirmed PSVR. now? Yeah, 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 it got confirmed, yeah. Oh, when did that happen? I've been dying for that announcement. Yeah, they confirmed that, yeah. Fantastic. Was that recently? That, yeah. Was that like Summer Games Fest or something? Uh, uh, it was sure. It, yeah, it was just as they... Like, it was... I, I don't know. I think it was in, like, an article. I, I remember here, seeing it in an article, so I don't know from who from, but yeah, it definitely came... They definitely said that Half Life Alex is coming to... Um, to uh, the PSVR 2. Because the whole That's point is... Fantastic. They didn't want to... Uh, um, the release of the PSVR 1 because they, it, was, it was actually under oh, it, it wouldn't have run knew. yeah no it would not have run that's so PSVR exciting 2, apart from apart from that new Walking Dead game that's the only game that still looked like it was uh, let's say undercooked doesn't mean it's going to be bad it's just <laughs> graphics look terrible let's just say that yep. but like their plan is to add like ray tracing and stuff to VR and I just I just want to see how that's going to work like I'm actually really yeah. interested in their technology because it, I've seen what they've done with the, P, the PS5. Like, I really want to see how they translate that to VR. Like, yep. how are we getting like, 120 FPS in VR? And like, yes. like how's yep. that work? Yeah, I'm so keen to get my hands on it. I love me some VR. Half-Life Alex uh, is amazing. Have you played it on PC at all, man? Have you had a chance? No, I've never had a v never had any experience with VR, so I'm really oh. excited about this. 
You're going to have your mind blown, man. I'm sure you already know that the first thing you should check out is Beat Saber. 100% it's the first thing you should boot up. I will. I will definitely. But my problem with Beat Saber, and this is my only problem with Beat Saber on the console, is you think there's no way to download your own songs. And that kills it for me. That does suck, but my god, what an experience. I don't know how many hours I've put into it. So good. Like, and if you've... Um, like this, it's a, it's a good excuse for exercise as well. It's one of those good ones where it you can really... It was a launch game with the PSVR, wasn't it? Yeah. Ah, uh, it was a launch. I'm not sure if it was launch. It was definitely there early though, yeah. But fantastic. I've spent so yeah, much time on it. Was time, like but... at least like, maybe like two, three weeks after launch, but it's still like, it's during the launch windows. Yes, yeah, definitely, yeah. But yeah, oh, those games okay. are amazing. So, um, sorry, uh, carry on with the games you're saying. Uh, so, you, you said, um, Rhonda you said half. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm keen for Redfall. My only hesitation with it is they've said it in Massachusetts, and it was like a four-minute trailer, and I didn't hear one Massachusetts accent. That might sound like a ridiculous gripe, but I'm worried Does their whole world isn't going to so, be consistent. I'm so, so sorry. I don't understand, like, I'm not, I'm not the best of accents and, like, locations. I apologise, I'm not, like... No, I'll do that. What does that? What's, what does that mean, sir? Well, so like um, a good. Well, oh, it's just a very um, recognisable accent in America. Like you know how there's a really recognisable Boston accent, really recognisable New York accent. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Massachusetts has its own unique accent, and uh, I found yeah, it yeah. really disturbing that it wasn't represented in like a four-minute trailer. Like not one, but they had oh, English like people the and they had like yeah. So yeah, my yeah. concern oh, the is the accent. Yeah, yes. That's what you mean. That really me. No, it's it's not a nitpick. It's, it's the same I have with like like when I saw something like Stalker 2, I was like, well, it needs to have you know uh, Chernobyl like you know Russian accents. You know? Yes. Because yes. Exactly. Exactly what I'm saying there. That's sure. right. Yeah. Completely. So because I love any game where I can get emerged emerged in. Excuse oh, yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that was, to me, was really immersion breaking. But my concern is that maybe their laziness doesn't stop there. Like, does maybe some of the gun art style not match some of the car art styles or something? Do you know what I mean? Like, is it a real inconsistent See, style? I, I'm going to guess an Xbox have probably learned because of what happened with Halo Infinite. I'm going to guess if Redfall isn't ready by next year, they will have to delay it. And I think. I oh, think Phil knows this. That'd be huge they if they had to delay this. it again. But Starfield's another one. Like, I'm hopeful for Starfield. It looks amazing for me. It looks like No Man's Sky, fair enough, but, I, you know. What did you well, think of, uh... What... Thing... Sorry, I played. Oh, sorry. Yeah, here's my... Here was my thing with, um... Yeah, I'll just completely finish what I was saying. Like, yeah, Redfall, I... It's my type of game. i you know... Probably could be fun if, you know, it comes to Game Pass. Could be fun, me and you could play it or something. Me use... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a full play co-op kind of thing experience and that's kind of thing with loot and stuff. It's kind of like a destiny type game, so yeah. if it has like a story or something, I'm I'm all in, yeah. And plus if it's on Game Pass, like there's nothing to lose. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's the one good thing. That's what I said to that's what I was saying to people about Starfield. I was like, it will be a shame if it's bad, but if it is bad, like you are not you're not paying for it. No one's yeah. paying for it unless you're stupid oh. enough to go and buy it. <laughs> That's money. true. What did you think of uh, Starfield's just like plain white UI? Did that do anything for you? Uh, it just looks. I think that might be prototype UI. I think that's actually like that's, guaranteed. What that was my with, take on it. That was exactly. What I thought like, oh, it just looks like the art department hasn't gotten to it yet. Was how it looked to me. But then I've heard a bunch of other podcasts, people talking up saying how they thought it was really good and clean. And I'm like, oh, it just looked unfinished to me. It's not going to kill the game for me. What's going to kill the game for me is obviously. Uh, I'd say frame rate, but I mean, it's going to run between 50 and 60 on Series X, so I'm not worried about that. They, they won't release the game. They're not going to release a next-gen game if it doesn't run mm. decent. Let's say decent. I won't say, won't say perfect, because you know, <laughs> PlayStation, most of their games are running perfect. That's because of the quality that their teams have compared to... Yeah. Which it, it is the main problem with Xbox. Like, lately, I, I think most people have been noticing, like, after Halo Infinite Ooh. and after, like... I uh, can't think of any other game, really, but yeah, it's like, has Xbox kind of like, just kind of go all in on Game Pass, but not really thinking about like, are they releasing games on Game Pass because they're supposed to be early access or like, you know, 
Do you know what I mean now? Do you yeah, see what yeah, I mean? yeah. But listen, look, it came up in loads of things, and I kind of think, like, maybe that, you know, like, if it is, like, fair enough, like, at least we're not paying, we're paying for Game Pass, but, like, it's still a bit weird, like, I think, you know, I think... It's, uh, I think everyone's copped it since working from home. I think no one's mastered getting uh, game testing done. Like during development, this quality control for game development seems to be holy. Like the Horizon 2, the way it came out, and then six months later, how much better it runs. It just looks like they can't do it. It was only really, that one extra mode, but the actual other mode, which was 30, did run good, but I couldn't finish. I, I don't know. The thing is with um, that mode, it, it, it didn't feel right. In, not, not, in a, not in the game like Horizon. Yeah. Not after playing Horizon in 60 FPS, like the original, but uh, would have been last year. Yeah, yeah. I yep. finished Horizon Zero Dawn and, oh, I love that game. And was it, the, it, what it, was it, the it, uh, Frozen it, Wilds or whatever DLC? Did you do that as well? Yeah, yeah I did everything, yeah. I 100% the game, trophy and everything. Nice work, man. That's awesome. I thought I might as well. I thought, you know, Zero Dawn's coming out. Uh, yeah. Zero Dawn, sorry. Uh, yeah, West. Forbidden West. Well, the the letters being the same as the DLC for the first one threw me for ages. Frozen Wild and Forbidden West, I kept getting them confused. But how much better that game looks? Like, oh my god. I haven't been that, able to uh, see it yet. I tried to boot it up and they wanted me to put a disc in that I traded in. <laughs> so can you not play the game at all then? Not even your Correct. original game? Hmm. Oh, I, Horizon... One I can play, like I've got access to that, but yeah, you know no, what? I'm two actually going to get back to you on that. I'm going to test that because maybe it's actually a widespread issue and not just I, yours. I bet it's a widespread issue, 100%. Yeah, definitely. I think I Sony, it's not. there's going to have to be a firmware patch. Um, yeah. Definitely. Because it's uh, got to be man. it's got to be user driven. Because how would Sony ever know that you've traded the disc in? Like I need to be able to go in and say, oh, I've now traded in my PS4 disc of Horizon and, 4. Remove the license. Yeah, if it's happening to Horizon, could it also be happening to it's, Cyberpunk or any other? It, it game must on be. There as well? oh, I think it must be happening to every single game that had a free PS5 upgrade from a PS4 disc. I suspect it had this exact same I'm issue. A, I'm gonna need to try some. And yeah. I'll get back to you. I'll, I'll message you on Discord about that and let you know if it's still if it's happening to me. But I'll have to put Horizon up and see if it's it's not working. And yeah, as I said, like I was that's going. That's really good stuff. Yeah, it really is. I, I was going quite quite um. Yeah, like, after they released that patch, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to start playing the game now. But yeah, it's just for the game trials that it'll, that it'll be a problem for. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah, but uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, but yeah, like you, man, I only saw it on one game, but the way, as the issue appears to me, from like an engineering standpoint, it would make perfect sense that every single game that I've done of or oh, anyone has done that free upgrade it is for, because the way they won't be able to try it. completely different to usual how demos and stuff work. Yeah. Usually they yep. release a demo that's like a short part of a game. This is the first time that I've seen a company go, this is the full, well, Cyberpunk did it, for, uh, they were the first, the, the CD Projekt Red technically the first company to do this, and obviously PlayStation added that to the, you know, that exact version, but like, they said, uh, yeah, so you can play like a certain amount of hours of the whole entire game, like the finished game, it's like, I've never seen that before. It's cool that you can do it, but like, obviously now Xbox are also doing it with Game Pass, which is pretty cool. But yeah, it's, it's like, hmm. uh, it's great yeah, as well yeah. from a back end like development standpoint. It's fantastic that the de de developers don't need to spend any time thinking about it. Like the platform yeah, operator exactly. is taking care of it, so that's it's great. Like I love the improvement, but yeah, like this gotcha is uh, quite the oversight, I think. Like, because um, the main thing I've been using xCloud for, like, you know, I've been, you know, I've been testing out, like, I, I'm interested in the whole streaming six thing still. Even if it isn't, like, the best, I still am always interested in it and try some games out. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to download a game if I don't know anything about it. If I see it on Game Pass and I'm like, oh, I'm going to try it out, I'm going to yep. start streaming. That's actually what they uh, they recommend you do with the cloud yes. service. Like, a lot yeah, of people yeah. generally just, it's their demo system now. Yeah, and it's fantastic. I've been using it so much the um, on the X uh, what is it called X Cloud on Android. Yeah, I'm using yeah, it constantly. Yeah. It's such a good service. It'd be nice if this game 
you know, in a few other games, like if you could take, well, obviously now it's on the Switch, it doesn't really need to, but like, say it wasn't on the Switch, it'd be nice if they added this to xCloud as well, like as a game you can do the touch, uh, with, like, but you can't, I don't think so. Well, yeah. the way you can do it, the only way that I know you can do it is... Uh, Use a controller, yeah. Well, no, I've got it. You can do, um, like, xCloud to your own Series X. So if I'm at home on my own yeah, network, yeah. I can connect to my own console and use my Android phone and play Turtles with my Bluetooth oh. controller to my know, Android no phone. Cool. But the only way I can do it is, like, off my own console on my own home network. Also, they've really, um, I know this just got announced, I don't know if you saw it or even, like, even heard of it, but, like, did you know that they've now deployed it for TVs? Yes, yeah, 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 Samsung, cool, because I, I think, remember yeah. When they were, I remember when they were talking about this and, like, you know, the future of x -Card. When it When they said it was coming to consoles, I was like, that's pretty mad, to be fair, but, like, now it's coming to TVs, I'm like... Xbox are really going to start, instead of being a console, I think after, I think they might be dead after this console generation, I might just develop a, oh. like... Might just the, might be like more of a service instead now. Well, it's yeah, really it's like, yeah, it's all yeah, moving that way. Like we will not recognise the gaming industry. I reckon in ten years, it will be radically radically different. Probably for you know, I, I I'm going to be optimistic and say for the best. But like, oh, it's always for the best. Game quality might still. I hope. I, I mean, I reckon after everything has cleared up, game quality will go back up again. It's just. It's like what I'm seeing a lot of people saying is, um, oh, uh, Summer Game Fest was bad. Like, it's it's not it was bad. It's because there wasn't a lot of games being developed. It's not the game was, but it was. It's not that those showcases were bad. That, just so many delays. Do you agree with me? No, I agree with you completely, delay. man. Yeah, it's, if half well, the games hadn't been delayed, showed. yeah, it would have been an amazing show. Exactly. I, you know, I won't sit there and say. You know, Jeff and stuff like I, I heard those people like going, "Oh, you know, Jeff Keely lies and doesn't doesn't understand." He can't say that this show. Like, I mean, yeah, he has to hype it up, but that's just kind of like that's marketing. Like, what, what can he do? Yeah, so yeah. like the cool thing that he could have done, I think, with all the delays and the lack of games, is just shorten his presentation. Like, he should have just yeah. kept it punchy and worked with what he had. I feel like the time. He didn't need like um, adverts for like. I don't know, full guys and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, like it feels yeah, like yeah, he picked know. the duration of the show and then went, right, now how many games do I have and I'll stretch it out that way to make it fill? Instead of saying, what yeah. do I have to show and what's a good length of time to show it? Does that make sense? Like, cut hmm. before the horse? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, sort of like, yeah, that's the, that's the main issue. But yeah, back to Starfield, like I generally thought, like when I first saw it, I thought, this was nothing that I was expecting. I think that's most people have said that as well. But like, I didn't. I was saying it to a game raptor in the, in the chat. I just I didn't really like it at first. But then I kept rewatching the trailers because, as I do, and I'm a big mm. Bethesda fan, yeah. even you know with disappointments like 76, which <laughs> generally now has actually turned into a decent game. So it really depends. Like when it came out, like I'm glad Bethesda. Well, one thing I'm, I'm glad with Bethesda with both of their two live service games being Elder Scrolls Online, massive game. Absolutely yes. massive game. Crazy good game as well. Also, it's just a very good deal because if you pay a certain price a month, you get all that DLC free. So it's like, you know, you generally, they've got like their own pass and stuff for that stuff. It's a, yeah. But yeah, no, I, I, but like I generally think like, I think there's one thing with Bethesda, they do support their games. And well, they yeah, really, like, you know, <coughs> what have they got? Their community and stuff, so. Yeah, that huge uh, update to Skyrim, was that like November or something last year? The yeah, yeah. PS5 upgrade edition, like they're still supporting that game so long after release. Adding new content, but yeah. I didn't, yeah. like, I wasn't expecting like, you know, whether you like the Creation Club or not, like some people do. I appreciate some of the, like, I appreciate especially the new stuff that was added to the Anniversary Edition. I'm glad that you could buy all the DLC as a as one, and they also said that, and they even added new stuff. Like, I wasn't expecting them to add new, yeah. like, create content. Yes. Like, I know, yeah, okay, Creation Club, as I said, is hit or miss, depending on whether you uh, appreciate it or not, but, like, I still think if you've never played Skyrim, or if you haven't played Skyrim in a long time, yeah, it's a good, 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 good package. Did they have, um, you know how some games put in, like, the when they release uh, new DLC, they do like character boost. Does Skyrim have that? Can you like yeah, yeah, yeah. boost the character to 30 and um, go play DLC? No, because um, 
Have you ever heard of mods? Yes, yes, of course, yes. You could, you could get something called the cheat room and you could uh, level yourself up. <laughs> oh, now see, I'd heard of mods, but I didn't know that was a thing. Is that on console as well? Oh uh, yeah, did you not heard the mod? Did you know not mo mods were on console? No, I knew mods were on console, but I didn't know that the XP glitch was. So my question is, do you earn those uh, achievements? Well, also the problem with um with Skyrim in general is it's still you know <laughs> let, let's just say buggy. Oh, okay. Let's just say come on. <laughs> so there are still exploits to like I don't know, maximize your character in twenty in thirty in like an hour or something. So like, you know that. But I don't think that's a bad thing because I think Bethesda intend for their games to be, you know, to you to, to do what you want with their games, which I think is a cool thing. I've always yeah, appreciated definitely. that with. You know, I I um, I generally like Todd Howard. I like what he says. Generally, generally. I mean, there are some few things. So you, you don't know, like Todd Howard? Sticks. No, I do like Todd Howard. Oh, I thought you said you don't like. I'm like, you... what's wrong with Todd Howard? He's awesome. <laughs> no, I think he's a great guy. Yeah, sorry, I just misheard you. That was funny. He also he also tends to say things that he shouldn't do, which yes. is like, and I love that. And, and he know, the thing is, he does it with the intent of knowing. And I think they, but Bethesda don't seem to care, or if they do, they just they kind of like they'll talk to him about it in the background. Well, what's his name? Does it as well? Is it uh, Phil Harrison? I want to say who's the Bethesda, um, you know the. Uh, Pete Hines. Pete Hines. He does that as well, and I respect him He's for it as well. Guy. He's a great yeah. guy. He's a great guy. I love those guys that just like say it straight. I'm it's a great the best. I'm a supporter of Bethesda. I always have been. I love their games. As I said, the only problem is they just don't come out the most polished. But I kind of, <laughs> I kind of expect that now. That's the thing. I will say the graphics have definitely improved with uh, with Starfield. You can tell they've done something after 76. Yeah, definitely. I Might not look the best game in the world. But yeah. Still, Did I? Not, I? I was not asking for a graphical showcase. I was asking for a game that, you know, is the, an you know, the next RPG. Game. Yeah. Yes. Exactly what I want. Yeah. Did I read an article the other day saying okay. that um, uh, Starfield has the same planet entry e exit as No Man's Sky? Like no loading screens fly into and fly out of the planet? Is that a thing? Uh. So we never saw it in the actual trailer, but like. He did literally, Todd said, if you listen to him, he literally said you can fly anywhere you want on the planet. You can go to anywhere you want on the planet. So yes, I assume so. Yeah, but I feel like two days after the conference, so many people were asking the question that in an interview, Bethesda came out and explicitly said it. I think. Oh, I didn't say I that did, Yeah. I need I, to go I back and check right, the articles. Yeah. yeah, but that's amazing if you can yeah, No Man's Sky it. up now. You brought that up now. No Man's Sky was. I, I think it's actually disrespectful, though. Then, like, kind of like going, oh, it just looks like a rip off No Man's Sky. Or yeah, have you seen some of the backlash on stuff? Yeah. Like, most of it's unnecessary. Some of it's just unnecessary. Totally. But you know what? But the, some people just love the, the hating on Bethesda. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. It's just, it's just Bethesda. Yeah. It's just, it's just someone that, like, a lot of people going like, oh, they really need to upgrade their engine. Like, this game looks like, you know shit or something i'm like i don't know if you look at skyrim and you look at like any other bethesda game and you look at this game this game stands out especially the character models like mm. they generally look like not next like maybe not like you know ps5 and xbox like you know the game looked nothing like forza horizon for example <laughs> i was yeah. expecting the game to be yeah, no. showcase. I, I feel like people need to realize that with bethesda and bethesda said themselves these games are not to be a graphical showcase. They've never, ever, they've never yeah. sacri they've always sacrificed graphics for gameplay. And well, yeah, it's story, I mean, immersion. Well. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. No, I love the Bethesda games. I love getting immersed in their worlds. I'm looking forward to playing it, but 76 has made me refuse to get hyped over their games before I go hands on. Definitely. But I, I like, like the look um, of Starfield. I just want to see that UI change from a flat white to anything else. I feel like if they can give us like an hour demo before the game comes out, even if it's mm. just like just you can, maybe it's exclusive to Game Pass. That's still fine. Like if they do some sort of deal with Xbox, I still yeah. would love. I think they should do something with their game because people, it is the most hyped game in. Well, apart from maybe Elder Scrolls Six, which has to be a good game as well. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even seen that, but I could, I could just imagine how great that's going to be. 
Yeah, but what console are you imagining it on? <laughs> um, it's what? definitely going to be on the some sort of Xbox Series X. I would guess. No, the, but it won't. It'll be thing, next generation. Is... Like we don't even know what we'll be gaming on. Is VR going to be the only way to play good games point. in yeah, twenty point, years yeah. when it comes out? You know, like I, I hope you... not. I hope not. I do not want to just play VR. VR is cool, but like it should always be an option. Yeah. Oh, you never know, man. If they do some weird, you know, integration with, you know, real world like physical glasses or something, if they get maybe maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. AR really takes off and you can do some sort of seamless game world overlay on your real world or something, who knows how we'll be gaming. Yeah, because um I think people's predictions were that it was gonna be like that Elder Scrolls Six was like twenty twenty five, which does seem kind of That's way too early, I reckon. You really think that? Like, yeah. Uh, we won't see it till twenty thirty. <laughs> Starfield took 10 years, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And like, the thing is, I actually do believe that they've developed it for like, I, I, it's not a, it's not a uh, cyberpunk situation where they're like, oh, it's just, we developed it in two years. It, it's really not, you can tell that that game looks miles better than cyberpunk. Yes, yep, I agree. But the whole thing is, man, no one's gone hands on with it. All we've seen no is one, marketing. No one, yeah. We've only seen exactly. marketing, so you can't even trust it, really. Like, it's exciting. I'm refusing to get hyped. I'm keen to check it out. Yeah, Love yeah. my Bethesda games, but um, who knows? Such a mystery at this stage. But maybe just, uh, if think, the... Maybe I would the, say, though, I think, after what Todd was saying, I really do think, though, after 76, like, something definitely changed in that company. Yes, I would agree with that, yep. Because if not, I'd like, you know, being bought, because like, they got bought by Xbox, you know, during like the whole 76 debacle, didn't they really? Let's be fair, like, at least the end of it, like, so, I'm guessing, like, that's what a lot of people are saying, like, that's kind of what happened with Activision, they're getting picked up during the, the bad stuff, so like, yes. it seems that like Xbox picked up companies during their bad stuff, which are... Uh, yeah, it's great business the moves, they Xbox always make... Ubisoft. Well, it's, I thought, no, didn't you? Um, Ubisoft just got that huge bag of cash and uh, Yils Gilmont, the CEO, came out and he's like, no, nah, we're set to be independent for years now with the PlayStation, you know, the new inclusion of the, what is it, the Bethesda, uh, sorry, Ubisoft Plus catalogue or whatever now on PlayStation. I'm saying, like, I think at least, I think Ubisoft, like, um, Plus should come to Xbox at least as well. Yeah, definitely. But what I'm saying is Sony paid Ubisoft so much money that they don't yeah, 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 yeah. need to be bought by anyone. They can stay independent now with that revenue, which is awesome. But yeah, man, I agree. Still, It'll probably be a six-month exclusive for PlayStation. Then we'll hopefully get it on Game Pass, maybe. Yeah. you got to think it's coming eventually. Three Shredders? Well, playing, like, I don't remember. Three Shredders. They're playing a, um... Around. That's actually pretty cool. You hear it yeah. The sound. Uh, sounds cool. I like yeah, it. Yeah, no, I listened to the soundtrack on YouTube Music uh, yesterday. I was going through it. It's an amazing track. There's so yeah. many good songs on here. Yeah, they're also like new ones as well. Like they haven't yes. just gone and like taken the old ones. Yeah. They use the same instruments as like the old ones. Yes. Like, the same like techniques yep. and tactics. Um, they really they, honored the they, style, they yeah. completely redone this. And it, apparently this game didn't actually cost a lot of money to make as well. Oh, as really? It was. I'd yeah, love it to was know... Game, I'd yeah. love to know the story behind it, like how big was the development team, how long was the development cycle. It's exciting stuff. Is there any talk of DLC from it? So, not yet, but I, I mean, Shredder's a very... Requested character, so if they don't add some sort of like DLC, we can play as the bad guys. That'd be a missed opportunity there. Yeah. But is there any ca from the newer Turtles uh, lore? Is there any characters missing? Like, is there an obvious like, oh, they don't have anyone from season seven or whatever, you know? No. Like, like the only other character I would have expected to play as in this game is Shred. Hmm. Maybe they could do like a cool Shredder's origin story, play as Shredder. <laughs> that's what I was, oh no, they should, that's what I was literally just about, you, you, you speak in my language there, Troy. I was just about to say, like, imagine you could play as like Splinter as a human and then, and Shredder and like during that yes. like, time, it's like, the ancient ma martial artists like back in Japan and like, yeah, oh, China, that'd be epic. Japan, whatever, yeah. Like, that'd be so good. That'd be great. But I, I don't even know who developed of, this. Do you know the developer's <laughs> name? So the same people as Streets of Rage. Which is, what's their company name, though? Do you know it? Um, I know there's, like, 
like uh, so there's two two like main like thing. There's a I think they're called the, the Tamu. I think if you look it up. The oh, Tamu. okay. You, oh. It'll tell you when you go to the main menu or something. But yeah. Ooh, is this the last level? I think so. I think we're. Have oh we, wait, oh, I went the wrong way. Sorry, I'm gonna go over. Uh, oh yeah. But is this the last level? This is the last level. I say we push through. Yeah, I've yeah, got yeah, time. Yeah. Do you have time, man? I think it'd be good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. I love it. Oh, this is exciting. I never, I never like not finishing off on the last level. Like if we're on the last level, might as well extend the stream a little bit. Isn't it? Yeah. If we can, sometimes life gets in the way. But yeah, yeah, man. If we can, I love it. And then we don't want to end up in a. Uh, we don't want to end up with the um, what was the the sea the sailing one where we just didn't finish for ages. There was one mission left. Yeah, like I hate I hate it when that. Oh, happens. we still need to go back to that. We still need to go back to Sea of Thieves at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's that whole new what is it season seven they released recently. Oh yeah, they've added like new like new like quests and like stuff. Yeah, like, there's new a bunch of new do. stuff. So uh, I think. It'd be fun to, you know, me, you and Steve yeah. get back on the boat. 100%, man. 100%. Whenever Steve has time, obviously, yeah. he's a busy man. <laughs> Very busy. Um, here's another game. What did you think of the Callis uh, Callisto Protocol? I thought that oh, was pretty impressive. I'm excited to play that one. I love everything about it. See, this is the difference. The if the Dead Space version. remake fails, then at least I've got that, you know? Yeah, well, you'll get it first, which is the really cool thing. I honestly that's, expect that's it'll like, be... The, I think it'll be a better game, experience. People are going to be, gonna be um, comparing them. Well, they should, I reckon. It's a, it's a justifiable comparison, but I've heard the commentary it's... that people are saying that they've it's good they've released them in this order as if Callisto Protocol wouldn't be well-received after the remake of Dead Space, but I disagree. I'm expecting um, yeah, Callisto Protocol to have like new gameplay mechanics, you know, new exciting evolutions of the ideas from Dead Space. I think even if Dead Space came out first, Callisto Protocol looks like it's bringing such its own flavour. I don't think it would be needed oh, I for it. Oh, no, I'm done. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no, this doesn't. Surely it doesn't bomb it. So stupid. They turned the Statue of Liberty into a villain. I love it. <laughs> Well, not to be too silly, but I've been up the Statue of Liberty, and I've got to say, she's been remarkably scaled down for this fight. <laughs> oh, yeah, she has, yes. But, you know, we are playing as Teenage Mutant yeah, Ninja Turtles, course, so I yeah. can... <laughs> um, I, I am actually, yeah, really excited. So, it wasn't at first, but as soon as I heard that it was the same people who made Dead Space, I was like, yeah, I'm yeah. Yeah, oh, as soon as I saw I'm that trailer on, uh, yeah, it wasn't the Game Awards. No, not the Game Awards, it was the Summer Games yeah, Fest. Yeah. That uh, trailer like, got me they, so they excited. They off at the PlayStation event, and then it also came back at Summer Games Fest with actual gameplay. Yes, and, well, it was the Summer Games Fest one that really got me excited for it. Didn't the Shredder could fly? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the old Times Square. Yeah, we like can't move, Ball can Z we? Stuff. You know anything about Dragon Ball Z? No, no, I never got into it. I've never heard of that. I've heard of it, but I never <laughs> I never got into it, so I you know, don't know any of the lore or anything. No, yeah, yeah, no. But um, it kind of, like, the way he was, like, doing the power-ups and stuff, it, it, it kind of reminded me of that. Oh, I see, sure. Ah. Yeah, um, if, the, like, because the one thing, cause, like, I'm not like. I'm worried and not worried about the Dead Space remake. I generally think they could pull it off, but the thing is with EA and after Anthem and like they haven't generally released any good game. Like I mean, well, Battlefield yep. 2042 is good, but not in a good state. Let's just say that. Correct. Yep. I agree completely. <laughs> Even the season. I, I 100% knew that season one wouldn't save it. Like you know, we were talking about it. Like me and you talking about it. Like hopefully, but like. It's too, it, it's too late, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I, I, I honestly don't think it's ever too late for them. Like, that game will still be played by millions, I think, in three to four years. Like, they can just take their time, get it right slowly. It'll eventually be great. It's the same as everything. It's the same as Halo. It's the same as all those games. They'll all be popular. Halo has a more of an edge because of how because of Microsoft as well. So, eventually. Yes. Yep. That'll be the big one, man. When do you reckon we'll see Xbox Game Pass on PlayStation? How many years? When? 
Xbox surpass PlayStation in every way, then I think the PlayStation <laughs> will probably have to do it. It's kind of the same situation with uh, Minecraft. Minecraft, they refuse to add the new, like, you know about the whole Better Together and the old version, don't you? You do know, uh, yes, you know yes. the history on Minecraft. Oh, yeah, my boys you know, the are PlayStation into it, yeah. Were, Anti, they were anti Bedrock Edition. They didn't want it. They did not want it on PlayStation. As soon as it grew to the most popular game on X, uh, Xbox, they were like, "Yeah, we're gonna have to do that." Yeah, yeah. You know, Jim Ryan, as much of a an asshole he can be, you yes, know, he does. He does. You know, eventually give in to the, you know, to trends and ways of like, you know, what's popular. Like, you know, yes. PlayStation likes to be. You know their own thing and like to be their own brand and do their own thing and compared to everyone else and kind of anti-consumer in some ways. You know I think well, they're they, better lately. Our they're, systems, but they're almost like a seven-year cycle. Like you know, on the first year they're awesome and by the seventh year they're horrible and then they just keep going on a loop. Like they were awesome yeah. PlayStation Two, they got bad PlayStation Three. They were awesome PlayStation Four. They're doing well PlayStation, yeah, PlayStation Five, 3. but. PlayStation 3 had some good games, but the actual console was uh, nothing compared to the 360. But as well, I mean, like the corporate attitude to the consumer as well at the time. Oh, the yeah, way yeah, they yeah, would, yeah. You know. That hurt the games as well, that's what I was yes. saying. Yes, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All those crazy, do you remember the, um, oh, what was the online pass or whatever when they didn't want people to trade in games anymore? Like all that sort of stuff oh, is so know. frustrating. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, after the whole thing about like not allowing upgrades for God of War and Horizon and stuff, it seems like they've gone to, you know, less anti-consumer lately. So I think that's good. You know, the whole PlayStation Plus premium thing seems... And the uh, you know, PC like, releases well, as well. PC, that's massive. Like, yeah, the fact that... they're getting like, they're, they're in four games, you know, you could argue the Final Fantasy remake isn't a PC, isn't a PlayStation game, but it still had an exclusivity with PlayStation. So, yeah, you know? Yep. Well, they we just said that Final that got extended, Fantasy didn't they? 16, could we see Final Fantasy 16 A1 on, on PC as well at this point? I mean, they have... It will eventually know, happen. Sorry. It will eventually happen. They'll be day and date on PC. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I think um, there was talk of maybe God of War Ragnarok will come to PC day one, which is why they've kind of delayed what? it a little bit. Like, That's an amazing rumor. Extra... Game over! Game I'm totally dead, man. And, Oh, you're dead. Um, I have two lives. Um, can I not revive you? Can I not do anything? No, well, I've never seen okay. it say game over. Like, if you look at my player tile at the top left, it actually says game over. I've Normally never just, seen that. No, either have I. I, I reckon I could definitely do this on my own. It's just going to be, he's a mo lot more tankier than when I did it on my own. Yeah, Go for tank. it, man. Go for it. We can just keep chatting if that works for you. Keep fighting. We'll keep chatting. Yep, we can. Cool. Um, but yeah, um, I can't remember what I was going to say, yeah, um, I'm, I just want to see what games they add to PlayStation Plus Premium now. I wonder if they start taking requests would be nice, you know, if we could start asking that them would be cool. Twitter, like, what game Yeah. It's always a good thing for companies, because I feel like that's kind of what we kind of, we need hope, like, a lot of people need hope of what they're going to get, because, like, the catalogue is so tiny, like, it's great what they have at it. All of the games are great, you know, mm. despite that. NTSC and PAL stuff like. Well, it sounds like they already, they're. It sounds like they're going to turn that into a win. They're going to be adding an update that allows you to choose between uh, different versions, different regions, which I think is a really good idea. That is a massive win. Very pro consumer. I love it. My question is, I wonder how they got the legal side of that sorted. Like, how do they? Because all the deals they make for streaming content is region specific. So I don't know how the, the American yeah. deal can be applied here in Australia. That's I'd love to hear how they got the business side of that working. But yeah, awesome. Pro consumer move. I would say I would say it's like, like I thought it was impossible like, you know, a lot harder, but because Nintendo had done it with all of their games, mm. then it can't be that hard to get licensing for games to allow to do stuff like that. I mean, as soon as I can see my Metal Gear Solid games on there, I'll be happy, but Yes. Looking forward to that. No, we just need more PSP games. There is like uh it's like two, I think. I'm There's keen to check out. Two I'm keen to check out um, Patapon and Patapon 2, the, uh, the PS4 remasters or whatever, but I never got to them. Have you ever played those games? They were Vita, Vita excuse me, originally. Uh, oh, no, actually, they might have been. 
They, what was it before? It? PSP or PSP Go or something? Maybe they're that old. I, don't, I think I can definitely do this. <laughs> yeah, mate, you'll get there. But uh, if you're into rhythm platformers, I uh, can't recommend Patapon enough, man. And it's part of the catalogue. You should definitely check it out. And they're tiny games. So... Rhythm platformers. See, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, I like, I like to check out every type of game. If it's on, like, you know, if, I, if it gets added to, like... Is it been added? Did you say to the, is it, it's in the? the yes. Yeah? yeah, yeah. I downloaded it yesterday. It was one of the first games I downloaded uh, uh, once I upgraded. Send me like the box art or something on like if yeah, you cool. remember on yeah, yeah, yeah. On um, because I, I I'd like to check out. Like, I can't from names. I'm not the best with names. So if yeah, I see fair the enough, picture, man. I know what I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll flick it through to you on Discord. Oh, reminder to any viewers out there, we have an open Discord. Jump on in. It's in the description, which reminds me, Sean, in the YouTube chat. <laughs> yes, mate, go oh, Darth Vader reached... on the bots. I think I've reached a glitch where I can't harm him. Oh, no. Oh, he might. I reckon he looks like he's got 1% health left. Surely he'll just cycle through to that yes. next stage where he takes a knee. Or have you seen him take a knee? And you couldn't get in. That's what I mean. I've seen. Like, I've tried it three times, but I can't see oh, him. Oh, there now. Like that should be. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now it works. Yeah, there you go. Honestly, I. I don't know if you watched it. I've tried that four times. Oh, I believe you, man. No, I was looking at the YouTube chat actually. Uh, sorry, and uh, just speaking of that YouTube chat, Sean Games. Uh, yes, I am keen to check out the Resident Evil DLC, and I really want to see it in VR. I'm looking forward to the VR. Two, PSVR 2 for that. Uh, what did I think of Goat Simulator 3? Yeah, that trailer was fantastic, and uh, I'm a fan of Goat Simulator. <laughs> it's of, um, it's of Dead Island, which yes. still hasn't got any sort of release date. I'd like to see a next-gen Dead Island. Like, Who was when, the developers? I feel like the developers got shut down, didn't they? Ooh. No, they're still, no, Dead Island 2 is being developed. Oh, who am I thinking of then? I'm confusing two games, clearly. Uh, so, are we rolling credits now? Here it is! Boom! The end of the game, yeah. Aaron, thank you very much for carrying me over the finish line, buddy. My apologies for not being able to help you there at the okay. end. <laughs> That's fine. Very, very That's cool. Bad. So, is there a new game plus mode now for this? Oh, I can have... thing called... Um, Casey Jones now? Or should I have? Mode. Yeah, you, you'll have Casey Jones oh. arcade mode, which could be quite fun if you want to try at some point. It's just, it's like a horde mode. You go as far as you can, as like with with uh, limited lives, and see how fun. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it would be quite fun to try at some point next stream yeah, or something. Definitely. Or yeah, 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 that's anything. cool. Yep. If you want to keep playing this game, if if not, we'll try. Yeah, there you go. The, the, the Tamu is what they're called. Oh that's yeah. Cool. <laughs> I've fast forwarded straight past it. Oh, there we go, Casey. Oh, there it is. That character model is cool. Man, I can't yeah, wait to play as him. He doesn't stand a chance against like Shredder with the hockey sticks and stuff, but like I still love the look of him. Yes, very cool. I like that they've aged him up a bit more. He looks more mature there than uh, he did in my memory of the film. And the, anyway. series. And the series and that, yeah. Yes. Uh, sorry, Sean Games in the chat. Keen to join us. Yeah, next Friday. Aaron, are you happy to play this game again next Friday? Yeah, I thought, uh, should we try, like I said, should we try the arcade mode where we just go as long as we can? Yeah, Final yeah, let's do story, that. But so, yeah, Sean. Depends on Sean. Yeah. Sean but. yeah, Sean, definitely, mate. Have it installed. Join in next Friday and hopefully Unky Dunky and or Bully will be able to join us. Maybe we could actually get full six and see it on stream, how it handles with he all just, six multiplayer. He just, he just bought it for the uh, PS5, he just said, uh, when I spoke to him before the stream. Oh, that's cool, though. We can do cross-play, so that's all good. Yeah, that's what he asked me. He was like, oh, is it crossplay? I was like, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, it's definitely yeah, crossplay, yeah. Definitely crossplay. So that's awesome. Anyway, uh, we'll wrap up the stream there. Aaron, mate, thank you very much for playing, chatting, and carrying me over the finish line. I think yeah, send me that game for the Discord, things. then. Yes, I will, absolutely. And obviously, everyone out there watching, you're welcome to join us on the Discord. Expand the description of this video and jump right in through the link. Thank you all for watching. Uh, check out the channel for all the Let's Installs. And, of course, Gaming Enforcement Agency will be back Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Uh, hope to see you then. What else can you do with Geek Aloud? Like it. Subscribe it. You'll never miss it. Everything about it. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Old Uncle Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> <Gee> donkey. <laughs>